In this video, we will be looking at a guy saying how Halo Infinite can only be saved by being like Doom, and specifically by doing nothing that made Doom successful. Yeah, if that doesn't make any sense, I don't blame you, but that's definitely the energy displayed in this video. Now, Halo Infinite needs no introduction, as it has been one of the largest video game fumbles of all time. However, with the recent updates, it has received a bump in player accounts, and people seem to be willing to give it another shot. However, this guy seems to have other ideas. The title of this video is How to save Halo and comes from Reforge Gaming. Now, I'm not sure if I'll respond to this entire video because this guy has a nasty habit of talking in circles and speaking a lot while saying a little. So, without any further ado, hold on to your brain cells as we will be dealing with quite a bit of stupidity with this one. I believe that Doom can save Halo. Well, let me explain. What do I mean by save Halo? How could Doom be the game to bring Halo forward? I have a lot of thoughts on this, and I think that Halo as a franchise needs to not just sort of step forward. I believe they need to leap forward. And in doing so, I think a great example of how to do this is how Doom did it with Doom 2016 as well as Doom Eternal. Bro, you know you fucked up real fucking bad when you unironically displayed the same energy as Dr. Dragon's under the mayor shit post. Oh yeah, and when you hear his reasoning for this, you might genuinely start to think this guy is just completely fucking retarded, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there with one of the few long-standing franchises that I think has been able to pull this off. They were able to evolve to a higher plane of quality without leaving the soul of the game behind. Four years later, Doom Eternal, after Doom 2016, I think added even more to the process. Now, I don't want to get bogged down into a discussion about Halo Infinite and is it a good game or is it a bad game? I don't think that's helpful. I think it's evident that Halo has not sort of transcended into modern gaming very well. What I do want to do is walk through from sort of a big picture perspective what went wrong with Halo in recent years. Spoiler alert, he's never going to actually tell us. But don't worry, I'll tell you guys right now. The reason why Halo Infinite failed as hard as it did was for one simple thing, lack of content. They literally launched the game in what is more or less a beta state, and its initial content updates did jack shit to help, like, holy fuck. Season 1 and 2 lasted for 6 months each. 6 fucking months. Not to mention all the delayed and canned features after multiple delays to the game itself. And Free for Free has been pulling every trick in the book to excuse doing any work until Microsoft finally got off their fat fucking ass and started firing people. But let's hear what this guy has to say on this. That's going to be sort of the first section of the video. What went wrong? And then after that, I want to look and say, listen, what did Doom get right? Like, what did they get right with their game as they brought it forward and as they fundamentally changed the game? But I think in all good ways. I mean, if you're saying that in reference to Doom 3, sure. But that is because they brought it back to what made classic Doom work so well and just modernized it. Also, this may be a hot take, but... If it wasn't for 2016 and Eternal, Doom would have still been completely fine, as Doom 2 is still popular to this very day, so if anything, Halo needs to go back to the older style of games, which is exactly what Infinite did and why it was so massive on the release. The core gameplay of Infinite was never the problem, the problem was the massive lack of content as I already explained. And then lastly, I want to say, taking inspiration from Doom, what could Halo do? Alright, so first, what went wrong with Halo? Now, rather than do an autopsy on Halo 5 or Halo Infinite, I want to address three big areas that I feel the game has fundamentally failed. And I may give specific examples, but what I'm not trying to do is do like a super critical video of like, here's how bad Halo is. Would it be so much to ask that you just get to the fucking point already? This motherfucker is literally talking in circles already, and we're not even at the main point of the video yet. So, fast forwarding, thank me later. So first, what do I mean by they stayed too true? Well, to put it quite simply, Halo is a dated game. What? And so is Doom, what's your point? 
Literally the thing that made Doom 2016 and Eternal so successful is that they went back to its roots. I mean, if what you're saying is true, the reception to the core gameplay of Halo Infinite would be downright terrible, but lo and behold it was probably the thing that people loved the most about Halo Infinite. Literally more proof that this guy is just talking straight out of his ass. The first Halo came out in 2001, that was 22 years ago, and the speed and the movement and the feel of Halo, it still just feels too tied to the Halo games of old. If you compare Halo 1 PvP footage to Halo Infinite PvP footage, it's really, really hard to spot, like, significant differences. Okay, I think we confirmed at this point that this guy has lost sight in both eyes. Please compare this footage in the background to Halo Infinite and tell me how they are at all similar. Infinite is way faster and has way more movement options that have actually been implemented well this time around, unlike Halo 5, where they can work in Halo's arena shooter setting. Now I'm not saying there aren't differences, right? Obviously player movement speed and intensity of combat are increased, but at its core it's not really that different. I love how he just contradicted himself literally in the very next sentence, yet he's just that fucking stupid to not realize it. Also, the core being the same is exactly what people wanted, so there is a problem. What is the problem? Like if you're actually going to do side by side comparisons of Halo Combat Evolved and Halo Infinite, the speed of movement that you can use with mouse and keyboard, obviously if you play Halo on a PC back in the day, and just the rate at which you can cover ground, it has been increased. It really has. But, you know, the ability to do new things or different things just really isn't there. Is it not? I guess something like the grapple shot doesn't exist then, or sprinting, or the thrusters, or any other new equipment or weapon. You honestly have to try to be this disingenuous. But as we'll see later on, this guy has absolutely no problem with cherry picking what doesn't doesn't matter in terms of new features. Now many are going to push back and they're going to say, well that's actually a good quality. That's actually something that is very good about Halo. Okay, I disagree. I think Doom is a great example of... And we'll get to that in a moment. We'll get to that in a moment. I don't want to get too deep into Doom just yet. I'm going to showcase what I feel Doom successfully did that Halo has not. In the ironic twist of events, Doom 2's success, even to this very day, completely shuts down your point right then and there. What's the next thing he's going to say? That Halo needs a battle royale to be successful? What a fucking joke. So, first... That's just the first point I want to make, is it's too tied to the past. Halo Infinite doesn't feel that different from the old Halo games, and I think that's really making it difficult for the game to garner any new audience members. Really? Because if anything, that's exactly what Halo Infinite did on its launch. Before then losing said audience because of complete neglect. It was literally one of the best launches for a Halo game, if not the best launch, but motherfuckers at Free for Free Industries were too busy sucking each other's dicks to actually maintain it with meaningful content updates. Secondly, I think that the evolution was too safe. It wasn't painful enough. Having to adjust to slightly faster player movement is like adjusting to 75 miles an hour after doing 65 miles an hour, right? It's not that different. It doesn't require a lot from you when suddenly your vehicle increases by 5 or 10 miles an hour. So basically, he's saying that this game just shouldn't be Halo. Despite that being the one thing people wanted from Halo 4 and 5, to go back to the roots instead of chasing trends. I mean shit, since you love mentioning Doom so much, Doom 3 was a painful evolution, and look how well that turned out that they literally scrapped the Doom 4 and went back to the game's roots with Doom 2016. But please bro, keep commenting on things you know absolutely nothing about, you definitely convinced me. From a PvP perspective, I think this is actually problematic for a whole host of reasons. I mean, ground level, your veteran players are practically godlike from the very first day the game hits the market because your evolution is too safe. And it's the same story for Call of Duty, yet despite that, that franchise still ends up dominating sales charts every year without fail. Not to mention that almost all, if not all, of the weapons in Halo Infinite have been changed and new ones have also been added. So, once again, this guy is just flinging shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. 
you've done such minor adjustments that has required such minor adaptation from your veteran players beyond pvp i would say even the grappling hook is a very very tame and minor adjustment or addition to the game the game impact of a grappling hook is just not something that I would count as an evolutionary step for the game. Well, when you cherry pick what does and doesn't matter like this, then it's easy to see why you would think that, considering you're just going to downplay every new feature, and it's just completely fucking pathetic. Minor changes to classic weapons or to enemies, it just all feels incredibly safe. And again, people might push back and say, well, that's what makes Halo, Halo. And I would argue that enough time has passed, okay? It's time to take a major leap forward. And again, I believe Doom will be helpful in displaying this. At this point, just say you don't understand Halo, because that is incredibly fucking obvious from your video. How much you guys wanna bet that if you ask this guy what Halo Infinite is, that his answer would be Now the last area that I feel went wrong with Halo is that they simply added. They didn't really grow the game. What? This makes the game feel somewhat static, almost like Halo just continues beneath the surface and you've added some trinkets and some toys along the way. Like an RPG that gets a few extra levels tacked on and a few new pieces of gear to try, it doesn't really feel like a new game. So does that also mean that Doom Eternal doesn't feel like a new game because it adds to Doom 2016? I genuinely don't see what's wrong with not fixing something that is not an issue to begin with. But how much you guys want to bet that this guy won't be able to keep that same energy with Doom? Or a new era. It's just more Halo. So, those are the three things I feel they kind of messed up. They stayed way too true, the evolution was way too safe, and I really feel like they did more adding to the game as opposed to growing the game. So, let's talk about Doom, okay? I mean, do we have to? These guys' arguments are all completely flawed on a fundamental level that I'm not really all too interested in covering solutions to things that aren't an issue to begin with. But then again, I already know I'm gonna have some screeching retards screaming at me in the comments if I don't do it for like taking shit out of context or some stupid bullshit like that. But at the same time, they're probably gonna end up screaming at me for something else anyway, so yeah. If you guys really want to hear me respond to that shit, then I might make a part 2, but for now, I think I'm gonna end it off here. So I guess the moral of the story here is Halo Infinite bad because it's Halo. Yeah, I never thought that in a world where it is so abundantly obvious what went wrong with Halo Infinite, with so many people being so vocal about it, that we would see a video this fucking stupid, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The wonders of the internet. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you to these channel members who embraced the chat doom guy and earned a shout out. Be sure to like and subscribe to boost me in the algorithm. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.